So good evening, everybody. It is um, May the 17th, uh, 2020, and this is Channeling Korea. So just a little description before I begin. The, um, the rest of the time is I'm going to start with a short meditation just to get myself in, 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 in the right head space and everyone else just to get present and then whenever the um, channeling kicks in whenever I can tune into the the right um, frequency then the channeling would begin so let's just all um, make sure that if you have your cell phone then your cell phone is turned off so you won't be disturbed. Okay, so let's just take a deep breath in and let go. And continue to just follow your own breath, taking it slow and easy to breathe in. and also slow and easy to breathe out. And every time you breathe out, just allow yourself to get even more relaxed. Just continue to follow your own natural breathing rhythm. And if possible, is to just start to elongate it as much as it is still comfortable for you. The more you can elongate your breath, whether it is breathing in slowly and breathing out slowly, you start to signal to your body to relax because our breathing is intimately connected, not just with our mental state, but with our whole body, how our whole body functions. And when we can start to Slow down our breath. It actually signals for our whole body to start to switch over away from being in flight or flight of or, or fight mode and just get back into normal relax mode. As you continue to follow your own breath, start to imagine that you're stepping inside an energetic elevator that is at the top of your head. Allow this elevator to slowly take your, the focus of your energy down, away from your head, away from your mind so that it can get all the way down to your neck, down your shoulders, all the way to your heart area. And when you feel the focus of your attention and your energy starting to be focused in your heart area, Allow this energetic elevator to open its doors and just energetically step into your heart and stay here. Pay attention to the rhythmic beating of your heart. 
Pay attention to the vibration of your heart. Your heart. is the center of your being. When you place your attention and start to pay attention to the center of your being and allow any extraneous thoughts to just leave and just focus on who you are in this moment. That is how you can tap into the rhythm of your life. What is the rhythm of your life? The rhythm of your life is also the rhythm of your soul. Feel the joy, feel the joy that is filling, overfilling your heart now. When you start to tune in and pay attention to who you truly are, you start to let go of all the chatters of other people's agendas and simply allow yourself to come out. You, the real you to come out. Not the nervous, worried persona, but the ancient you, the unmovable you, and the eternal you start to be able to take hold. And take back the reins of your life. You are the creator of your life. Breathe in. Breathe in. All the magnificence of who you truly are as the creator. Start to gather, start to gather that energy that is you, the true energy that is you. Let go. Let go of who you think you are and become who you truly are. Because who you think you are is not based on reality. Who 
who you think you are is based on all the thoughts that you have allowed in to your consciousness. They may or may not be true. They may be ideas that you have adopted from your family, from people you respected, from people you somehow believed knows better than you do. I just want to tell you a secret that there is no authority on you. There is no one who is more authoritative about who you are and how you should conduct your life and what kind of a life that you should live but you. You are the authority in your own life. Tune into that. Feel that. It's a feeling that is like no other. When you can tune into your heart, you can feel something that is solid. It's a knowing. Some people have described it as a knowing. It's actually more than that. This is a knowing and it is a being as well. Who knows? how to be. They are far and few between of people who knows how to be because we have not been taught how to be. We have been taught how to fit in, how to survive. We have somehow taken in the idea that we cannot survive, that we cannot fit in. That's a very interesting notion from the point of view of spirit. Because spirit knows who you are. You are eternal. You have always been here. And you will always be here. Maybe not in this body. But you, your essence, have always been and always will be. And as for fitting in, you have always fit in. Everything has always been perfect. There is no more and no less. This is always simply just perfect. It is perfection. Thinking that we don't fit in. Thinking that we're not good enough to fit in. 
but where you are is exactly where you fit in. Otherwise, you wouldn't have been here. You wouldn't have chosen this location, this time space. So it is time. And it's time to tune in. And get reacquainted with who you truly are. Allow this frequency of who you truly are to start to take hold in your life. When you pay more attention to who you are, this frequency of knowing and being and you start to move, take action, change the things that feels right and ready to be changed. And really be happy. Not be happy with all the material things that you have acquired, but be happy because you have managed to manifest the life that is in alignment with who you truly are. It's not about getting things. It's not about acquiring things. It's about a feeling. It's about supporting who you are in this moment. And when you really cherish and pay attention to being moving and living your life from that being and knowing who you are, then life starts to make, starts to part the path for you. Life will start to take the cue from you. Because life actually has always been trying to take the cue from you. It is just that you have different belief. You think that you need to take a hint from life. And when you don't know who you are, then your life would happen to you. Things may or may not work out for you. But when you start to 
really move from knowing who you are and from being who you are. And really start to create your hologram around you, your reality around you. When you move from that, your life would start to part a way for you to move forward in whatever direction that you wanted it to go. We want you to know that this is not a technique. A technique is like a tool. It is like a hammer or an axe or something more subtle. But this is not that. This is not a technique. This is simply how the game is played. The game is played this way. Know and be. I know you don't understand this. And that's okay. That's why you're here to learn. But all it takes is just knowing and being who you truly are. And when you cherish that, when you practice that, when you have perfected that, the universe will part a way for you to move in whatever direction that you see fit to move in. It will feel like a great wall will tumble before you simply to make way for you to move in the direction that you have chosen to move. When you choose deliberately from the depth of your being, from knowing who you are, you can move mountains easily because the mountains wanted to move for you. They have to move for you because you are the creator of the mountain. You're the one that put that mountain whether it is metaphorical mountain or an actual physical mountain, you're the one who put it there in your hologram. And when you choose to move in the direction to cut across that mountain, then that mountain will move 
and allow you to cut across it. Easily and effortlessly. This, this is how you need to, this is how everyone who choose to can move forward. It does not matter what is in front of you. Don't allow the mountain, don't allow your hologram, the reality out there to tell you what it is that is possible for you. Because you are the one who created and projected that reality for you. Because that is what you wanted to experience. When you start to truly tune inside and change your mind and know from the depth of your being that you're ready to change your reality outside and you move from that being and knowing and the reality outside will shift. It will allow you to cut across it. It will allow you to do what it is that you have set out to do. Now is the time to start to ask yourself what kind of a world do I truly want to experience? Not to make the world a better place, you're the one who actually makes the world as it is. So stop trying to make the world a better place. Know who you are. And move. and act from that depth of being, from that depth of knowing who you are. And decide what is the world going to look like when you wake up When you wake up from this sleep, can you feel that feeling? Feel that feeling of who you are. Practice that right now. Take this time to get to know your own vibration. The 
frequency of who you truly are and be grounded to that. Be familiar with that vibration. Remember what this feels like. We are assisting you to feel that. To feel what it feels like when you know who you truly are. When you have no doubt about who you are, when you don't need to prove to anyone else because there is no one else outside. Feel that. Feel this authenticity of your true being here and now. Remember this feeling and let this feeling be your guide. If you don't feel like this at any moment during the day or in the evening, then you know somehow you have turned off from the right path. You have maybe taken on some thought forms that is misleading you. That's why it's important to remember this feeling, this feeling of being totally aligned and connected with who you truly are. So that when you get lost or you get sidetracked, It's very easy for you to find your way back here in this feeling. And when you are engaged in your day and you feel like what you're feeling right now, then you will know that you're going about your day in the best way possible. Because whatever it is that you're doing during your day is supporting you to maintain this vibration of who you truly are. It's a sign that your thoughts are aligned and your actions are aligned. They're all going in the same direction that is supporting the true vibration of who you are. Let this be your guide. Let us assist you 
in feeling this feeling. The feeling of authentic self. Who you truly are. It cannot be described by words. It can only be experienced. So allow this experience of your true self to leave a mark, to leave an impression as the way shore so that you can always come back to this feeling you have right now. Feel this. This is our gift. This is our gift for you in this session is to have this experience of being connected to who you truly are. Beyond the physical, Remember, remember this feeling and allow this feeling to guide you back. No matter how far away you stray from who you are right now, you can always find your way back. Because now you have this experience. If all you are listening to this right now, if you're listening to this now, Allow the lightness of your being to inform you that it's going to be okay. I'm not saying it's going to be easy. I'm not saying that it's going to be simple. I'm just saying that it's going to be okay. going to be okay because you are the one that is creating your reality. If you know 
how to hold on to this feeling. And use this feeling as your guide. That is actually going to be a smooth an easy transition for you. And if you can't, that is still okay as well. Because you're the one that is creating the experience. And you will always be looking out for yourself. Always. Why would you have it any other way? So let go of any worries. Let go of any distracting thoughts. Instead, try to use your imagination in constructive ways. Instead of worrying, am I going to survive this? Use your imagination in constructive ways. Imagine what is the best case scenario? What is the most enlightened reality that I can dream of? Think about that. How do I really want the world to look like? How do you want to remake the world? Because you do get to choose that. In the next couple of days, Maybe even next couple of weeks, ask yourself, what kind of world do I truly want to live in? Not what kind of world can I make it to be. But imagine that you get to recreate everything. Imagine a white board in front of you and that is your reality, your world with this white board in front of you, how do you want your reality to be like? From the depth of your being, start to know what it is that you want the world, your world to look like. and feel how you want to feel when you are living in this world. And feel that. Build your world one scenario and one feeling at a time.
and take your time to consider everything. Whatever you don't prefer in the reality right now, don't try to ju judge it. Just allow it to be. And then think of something else that you would actually prefer more to experience. Start, start to create that reality within your mind. Start to remake your hologram. You are not some insignificant bystander. You are the creator of your world. You are the one that observed it into being. And when you realize that, you know that you can observe it into changing as well. Focus on being creative rather than focus on judging the old. Allow the old to be the old and set focus on what it is that you want to see instead of the old. And truly want this new creation. Feel that new creation in the depth of your being. And then start to live in that reality. Start to enjoy your life and experience this new world. From the depth of your being. Allow your heart to be filled now with love. Allow your heart to be filled with gratefulness. Allow your heart to be filled with peace. Allow your heart to be filled with joy. Allow your heart to be filled with acceptance.
allow your heart to be filled last but not least to be filled with the depth of your being you and i are different souls yet you and i are the same we are cut from the same fabric we know it we feel it Feel how sweet this creation is. How sweet life is in this moment. And allow this moment to last for as long as you enjoy to have this. Allow this moment to be filled with our love for you. Allow this moment to be filled with oneness, with the recognition of family. We love you. We are family and we love you. And this is our message this evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.